mountain biker. I knew they'd revived the brand Norton, but I didn't realise there was a, uh, a showroom here hey, yeah. in London Soho. It's Sunday night. I'm. I was about to say actually, Sunday night is possibly the quietest night in town. Um, most of the shops shut much earlier on Sunday nights than other nights. Um, so the shoppers go home, the staff go home. And I guess Sunday night for Londoners is a night to relax at home, prepare for the week ahead rather than come into town and go for dinner and drinks and party. Hopefully they'll have, they'll have had enough of that over the weekend. But trying to get a shot of that motorbike there was just a steady string of cars and just non-stop people. So as you can see, this is Carnaby Street. It's, uh, it's the quietest night, but it's far from quiet. But I want to head and take a look at a store called Liberty, one of London's most famous and renowned department stores. So I thought Sunday would be as good a night as any with less shoppers, the people to get in my way of the windows but yeah you will we'll never have the streets to ourselves because millions of visitors come to London each year and they don't have work in the morning so they're out about um, I've made videos about liberties before and like I was saying the shop shut early tonight so it will be shut um, but I've made videos before where we'll pop in so if you want to see inside it I'll put the link to the video at the end um, I think I caught, the last one I made I think was breakfast at Liberty's. Well, I went for breakfast at the Liberty store. Um, it was, to give you a brief outline of it, um, it was founded by Mr. Liberty, um, late 1800s. Guess, I'm gonna guess, let's go 1870s. Um, originally he worked for another company who imported Oriental goods, I think on Regent Street. Eventually he left, set up on his own, importing oriental goods in a small store in Regent Street was successful, he expanded, got more stores, um, knocked them into one um, until eventually, I think in about 1920 and 1920s, they built the current store. It's actually kind of mock Tudor, but uh, so it's mod, it looks much older than it, than it actually is. Um, and they used they used the materials at the time the Royal Navy was scrapping to very old battleships which were made of wood. Um, so it's actually made of materials much older than the building itself as well. Um, yeah, I think a lot of the flooring is the deck of a former Royal Navy battleship. This is the stop. I'll cross over the road so we can get a better look at it. Um, and then we'll take a look at the windows. It's a massive store but the, the actual the window displays are actually, for a central London department store, relatively small compared to say Harrods or Selfridges. They only do a few windows at one end. But yeah, check it out. It's an amazing looking shop. It's actually got three light wells, huge light wells in the middle of it, um, which is a luxury no one would include in a shop today. But I guess when it was built in the 1920s, electric lighting was nowhere near what it is today. Um, so the natural light would have been a huge benefit that floods the store. Today, I would imagine anyone building a shop would just put better electric lights in and the whole, you know, like the whole thing will be uh, sales space. I think it looks mock Tudor, but I think architects panic because it's it, it it was quite right. section here is the Christmas windows so let's pop across the road and take a closer look. 
there's loads of people. Like I said, this is the quietest night you could get in town, but there's loads of people stopping and staring. That's, that is the very idea of them, to uh, grab people's attention. festive to head down into Carnaby Street there with the Christmas lights on. Normally that street's full of people, there's a few pubs and bars, but yeah other nights of the week it's heaving. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, inspired by the Royal Ballet and the Nutcracker. Look, this ballerina dancing in front of what appears to be an enormous Christmas tree. Very festive, super popular with passers by all taking pictures. Okay, just make a wish come true at Liberty. Buy, buy a snowflake for five pounds and hang your wish in our golden staircase and the snowflake on your tree. In January one wish will come true. Okay, little glimpse into the uh, the beauty department in the store. I'll, uh, I'll take a walk around the back. There are some more windows around the back. I think it's the handbag department. Um, which I'm sure will interest any ladies watching. and see him. I definitely recommend Sunday night. Although it's busy, it's nowhere near. You wouldn't be able to see from further back with the people cutting across. Back 
back entrance. Okay. Okay. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a quick visit to check out the Liberty Christmas windows and displays. I'm gonna head back down to Carnaby Street and get a coffee. Two giant nutcracker guys there. Right, I'm going to head and get a coffee. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this visit. And let's look at the festive windows. I think they're pretty amazing this year. Um, a lot of people, I made the film about um, the Harrods once the other day. And I think they've gone for, it was done by Burberry. I think a lot of it was done, or well, it's, uh, it's advertising Burberry products. But um, it hasn't been very popular by what people have been saying to me. Um, so, I think they tried to be quite stylish and uh, so a lot of white card and um, the thing with Christmas, it's the season when uh, style and fashion, so last season, it's all about clashing colours and Victorian excess, reds and greens, gold, silver and the Nutcracker theme there seems very popular and a uh, much smaller display than Harris but seems to be getting more thumbs up. And some of the other stores. Okay, got some more windows here. There is an entrance just here on Carnaby Street. That's kind of what Christmas looks like, right? Uh, pressed out chocolates is an ideal thing. It's just a riot of colour. Really bright and garish pinks and blues and yeah. Pressed out chocolates looks festive all year. The shopping Royal Arcade looks amazing. I think there's a video on my channel about that. They look great. Uh, chocolate baubles. What does it say? Uh, Father Christmas milk chocolate truffle bauble. £8.95. They'd never make it till Christmas. Okay, right, I'm going to get a, a uh, the coffee, all the good coffee shops, the great independent ones shut early as well on Sundays. Carnaby Street looks super festive. There's only one place open. Starbucks. Open till 10, believe it or not. Right, thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Toodles. <laughs>